Hey guys, how are you doing today? Today we have Foxy. Now, I gotta say, I was really surprised when this tiny little box came in. I mean, like, really tiny, right? Like, barely bigger than my hand. Like, uh, if you're old enough, it's barely bigger than a VHS tape. Like, this way, it's probably about the size of VH, and it's just slightly too thicker. And I was like, did I buy add-ons or something? So I have to admit, I did open this box a little bit just because I, I didn't remember ordering add-ons, but I couldn't imagine why I got such a small box. That is my regular boxy. And then this ginormous thing, um, is the, um, premium, which is normally either in the same size or a bigger box because it's supposed to have a better value. But I mean, look at the difference in sizes of these two box. Like it's almost a third. Eh, okay. Maybe not quite a third, uh, maybe a little more than a third, but Okay, maybe half on the this way, but with a gap here, and definitely only like half the thickness. Like, I'm really curious what's in this box. It's so small. Like, is that really supposed to be the value, the normal value? I can't remember what it's supposed to be for the regular boxy, but it, it's it's a tiny box. Uh, we've got our little card in here, Fantasy. Uh, and it does have the usual one, two, three, four... Five items. It has five items, so that's normal. It's just such a small box. Um, so we're gonna go with what we started. What's well, right on top here? Brows on point waterpro waterproof micro brow pencil. Ooh, what color did they give me? Uh, I don't know. The end of the box looks gold, so I guess that's supposed to be blonde. I hope that's the color it came in. Um, taupe. Sorry, taupe. If I found an, an, a name. Uh, so hopefully it is the right color for my blonde pale, but, um, gosh, it's really in there. There it goes. And it's, it's got a little spoolie on one end you see here, and then the pencil on this side. That's the twist up type. And it is definitely tiny. Look how little that guy is. Uh, let's see what color. And it is darker. Um, than I would normally use. So, yeah. So maybe I'll be able to use it. Maybe I won't. Because that does seem pretty dark. I don't know. I don't have any makeup on. So. Because um, <laughs> I just haven't lately. Let's see how ridiculous this is. As an eyebrow color for me. That is. Pretty dark. I can't even with this. Okay. I can't even use it right. In contrast, here is, is this, I think this is actually a, this is a blonde precisely my brow. Okay. You can't even see it. It's, it's about the same size of a pencil. Come to think of it. I don't remember if it, particularly like it. Never mind. I don't even like this one. I forgot that. I bought it and I hate it. Um, but Brow Contour Pro also benefit, oddly enough. Um, I usually use this one, which is why it's probably just about dead. And it is more my natural color. And look at the difference in the color. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is not the color you send to a blonde. My daughter might be able to use it. It is not my color. It is way too dark for me. Even the darkest, like this is the darkest one in the blonde here. And look how much difference in color there is here. It's still 10 times lighter. And that's the darkest on this benefit brow brow pencil that's specifically for blondes. So now that my eyebrows look all wacky, <laughs> that clearly that is way too dark for me. Maybe I should grab the box again. Although I can't give it to anybody that I don't know because I, I just used it on my eyebrow for five seconds of craziness. All right. The next thing in here, mud masky vitamin infused eye serum. Reduces dark circles. Well, I don't typically have problems with dark circles. I mean, I don't have any right now. And trust me, I don't get a lot of sleep. Um, 
I just took my glasses off to play with my eyebrows. I don't know why I'm trying to read the back of this to see. I was trying to see what kind of vitamins it says are in it. Mm. For the thin, specifically formulated for the thin and sensitive skin under your eyes. Feeds and moisturizes the skin with a blend of all natural vitamins like pomegranate, red algae. Okay, those aren't, those are plants and fruits, not vitamins. What vitamins do you get out of those? How about you actually tell me that part? Um, Kaduku plum? I don't even know what that is. Which cut, which contains the highest level of natural vitamin C in the world, apparently. Uh, results after three to four weeks, dark circles and fine lines will be less visible, fragrance free. Well, that's usually a good thing because Lord knows a lot of this stuff is not fragrance free. Let's see if they're right about it being fragrance free. Yeah, I don't smell anything. Legit don't smell anything. Um, not a huge user of eye creams and stuff. So I don't know, maybe I'll eventually use it, but for what I don't know. Oh, then there's a, uh, the Lifestyle Co. Los Angeles Detox Hair Serum Nutrient Plant scal Scalp Treatment. I don't know why I can't say this. Wow, that's tiny. Directions. Part the hair into sections. Apply one to three drops each partition. And massage into the scalp. Do not rinse out. The treatment should be applied after washing and before styling. Okay, I like that it tells you to put one drop in each section, but it doesn't tell you how many sections. So, I mean, I have to assume it depends on your hair thickness and whatnot, because if you've got thicker hair, you probably need smaller sections. If you've got thinner hair, you probably need bigger sections for the same amount of oil. But I think it's funny that it doesn't really give you a how many sections. Oh, and it stinks. You want me to leave this in my hair? It, it really, it truly stinks. And they want you to leave it in your hair. And I just spilled down the side. I don't know anything lashed it up with. Well, it's clearly oily because it made the, the frosted bottle go, um, not frosted. That usually only happens. But yeah, that stuff stinks. That stinks bad. I don't think that's ever going in my hair. I don't know what's happening to that. All right. Next item. We have something with G on it. Grande Glow Plumping Liquid Highlighter. I mean, it's a good color. It's almost the same color as my skin. I suppose that works. French Pearl, it says. There are literally no instructions on this. Uh, what is it plumping? I, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little confused by this plumping part. What, what are we plumping with a highlighter? Highlighters usually go maybe on your nose, you know, like the bridge of your nose, the tip of your nose, right above your lip here, you know, maybe some in your forehead, some people put down here, but what are you plumping with a highlighter? What would you want to plump where you usually put a highlighter? That just seems weird to me. Oh, it's got the biggest freaking doe foot. Just put a tiny bit on the back of my hand because it Well, it's definitely a pretty shimmer. Um, I don't usually use liquid highlights, but I, I'm still really curious. What are we supposed to be plumping with a highlighter? And then the last thing in here, I guess that's not that. I thought something smelled funny. Hydrating Complexion Trio, it says. Uh, Rise and Grind Pale Wire Cafe Con Leche. Cafe Con Leche. Uh, it's got all those stupid little sticker things in there find it. The only problem with the little stickers is finding the edge of it because they're always clear. Finding the edge of it so you can actually open it. Um, I don't even know what these are. Use the brightening shade to eliminate under the eyes. Bronzer shade to add warmth on the perimeter of the face. And the deepener shade to create depth around the cheekbones, forehead, and jaw. I'm so confused. I mean, here's the colors. Here's the color palette. Um, yeah, I, I guess that one could brighten under my eyes. It's almost the same color as my skin. I am pretty sure this one is way... Nah, maybe I could. Um, oh, no, that's the deepener. This 
this is the highlight. This is the bronze. And this is the deepener for your cheeks. So I guess it's a contour palette, although I don't know. I don't know that I'll use that. All right. Well, that was a whole box of I could care less. Literally, I could care less about everything in this box. Um, <laughs> that hair stuff stinks to high heavens. And I really don't have problems with my hair. My hair is in ridiculously good shape. Um, because I almost never use heat tools. And even when I do, I use a silk solution or a protectant on it. So, I mean, and I, when I, I know I dye my hair all the time, but it's cruelty free, vegan, no ammonia. So it's not hurting my hair any, and I just have good hair in, in general. That's one of the few things I was blessed with, with genetics. All right. So that brightening and bronze complexion trio is 25 bucks. The hair serum the hair serum is $79 for stinky ass shit to go in your hair with bad directions. That's fantastic. Uh, the mud masky eye serum, $63 for an eye cream. Whew, okay. The pumping liquid highlighter is $24, $25. This little tube that I don't know what it's supposed to plump is $25. That is crazy. Uh, pumping liquid highlighter infused with a rapid skin lifting serum system then uplift to firm and tighten fine lines. Okay. That did not make it any better for me. I'm like, firm and tighten fine lines. The fine lines are not usually where you highlight at. I, mm. All right. And then that micro pencil is $16. The brow pencil that's, you know, clearly way too dark for me. So let's see what the total value, ridiculous value of this box is. Let's see. That. 80, 142 plus 50, 192, 202, 208. So yeah, even though the box was super tiny this month, it is about on point for what the values, well, what they say the value is of the boxes, uh, most of the time. I, I, I honestly usable value zero. There's nothing in that box I needed. Now, if this brow pencil had been a correct color for me or a blonde, then maybe, but for what I got or for, for the color I got, I have zero usable value out of that box. Um, oh, wow. This one has a huge card. Ooh, Right on the front, it has, it says BoxyCharm Premium X Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills. So does that mean everything in here is from, oh my goodness, it is. So the premium box is legit all Anastasia Beverly Hills today. Just, I'm going to set the biggest thing to the side for a minute and come back to it just because. Wow. They do have one little thing of bubbles, but look at this. The inside of the box even has Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's a little purple crinkle paper with all of the things inside. I see a brush. Uh, well, you know, let's go ahead and grab that brush because it's right there on the top. And it's what? Domed Kabuki brush. Not a huge fan of Kabuki brushes. I do have a couple when I use a brush instead of a, um, whatchamacallit, beauty blender. Uh, I'll use a kabuki. I can't even get it out of the plastic. Holy crap. Try to get just enough that they can grab the bristles. Um, it's not bad though. I mean, it's, it's a small kabuki clearly, as you can see, um, it's super soft. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'll use it just because I'm not a huge kabuki brush person, but whatever. It's a, it's a brush I can use. Maybe if I start using brushes for foundation again, I did for a while. Um, the next thing I see is Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Ashton. So it's going to be a neutral. It looks like Oops. I hear a cat scratching somewhere. I wonder which cat there's a color. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a little, a nude.
Not bad. Yeah, typical nude, right? Um, feels nice. It's a, it's a good neutral color that I don't really, I don't use them very often, but that's okay. Uh, the next thing we have is a tinted brow gel in the color blonde. At least this one's blonde. <sighs> Ta -da! That is definitely blonde. Um, and it's got a little spoolie. I don't know why I thought I could do that. And I have a little bit of brow, brow product on here already, but only on the ends. Um, only. Wow, I might as well. Okay. I was going to say I might as well not even have anything on my eyebrow. It doesn't really do a whole lot for me as far as making it look be more visible um i wonder if it can tone down this taupe craziness over here oh it could that might be a way to actually use that that uh, pencil i could color it in and then go over it with a blonde brow gel it did at least make that i not look so crazy now for right now all right, so that's not bad. Oh, that liquid lipstick has already dried down, which is pretty nice. It doesn't feel drying, but it's dried down to where it wouldn't get on stuff. Well, the next thing we have is a loose setting powder in the color translucent, which is usually good for me because it's hard for me to find powders that are the right color for my pale. But ooh, it's got one of those velvety feeling plastics on the top. And just, you know, your typical, I'm not going to get into this too much right now, just because, um, I have other powders that are already open and I kind of hate to make a mess. Um, oh, there's just a flower. I thought there was something hiding underneath all of this purple crinkle paper, but it's just a butterfly printed onto the bottom of the box. All right. And then the last thing we have is a loose highlighter powder in the color Vegas. This isn't the last thing I set something to the side. There's like a palette of some sort and that I decided to save for the last. Ooh, look how sparkly the top of that butt baby is. Oh, you can't see the color. Well, there's the color on the side. <laughs> you can't see the color because there's a sticker over it. I guess you could use the Kabuki for putting that on or, or putting on your powder. I don't know, but that is, ugh, I love the packaging. Um, it's almost my color. Do you hear that little tiny meow? I don't think the kitten likes that he can't get to me. So cute. If you didn't know, I adopted two little baby kittens. Uh, my nephew found a box of abandoned kittens that looked like there were a couple of different ages. And uh, we ended up adopting two of them. And one of them clearly wants my attention. Okay. So then it says Norvina Collection Pro Pigment, Pigment Palette Volume 3. Hopefully we get good colors. The whole pa the palette itself looks just like the box, but it's a heavy plastic. It's got a little curved corners, just kind of neat, and all those butterflies sparkle. Oh, they don't sparkle. You know what I mean? They're reflective. They're gold. Oh my lanta! Those are some colors. Woo, baby! Look at those colors. Those are bright. Look at those greens. And then you've got a couple of shimmers up here. Everything else appears to be matte. No, there's a couple of shimmers down here. And this one's a shimmer. And these three up here are shimmers. Nope, oh, this one's a shimmer. Most of them are matte, though, I see. Those are some pretty colors. Woo, baby. I mean, I feel like I probably have all of these colors in a palette somewhere already. Except for maybe those oranges, man. Orange is not a color you see in palettes a lot. Not like that. And, but even the bright greens, I feel like I probably have those just because of the crazy amount of palettes I have over here. Um, which then makes me wonder, do I want to keep this or do I want to give it to my daughter? Although I could use it and still give it to my daughter. I don't think she'd care, but yeah, those are some bright, fun colors. And of course some neutrals too, because sometimes you need a neutral to blend out or to do your smoky corner, depending on how you like to do things. That is really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and say that this one probably has a higher value just because the entire box was Anastasia Beverly Hills, but let's make it, let's do a, a count here. All right. So this palette that I just showed you $60, honestly, 
as a high end palette goes, I don't think 60 is too bad for that. I mean, I paid 50 bucks for this. So, um, and maybe I'm trying to think of how many colors are in this. There's 18 colors in here for 50 bucks. And then there's how many in this one? Twenty-five in here, so yeah, that's not bad. Like I said, as high-end makeup goes, that's a pretty decent price point. I'm not even mad about that. Um, the loose setting powder is thirty-eight, which, for the size of the powder that you get, and again, it being a more luxury brand, I'd say that's not that bad. Um, the highlighter is twenty-five. The brow gel is twenty-two. The lipstick is 20 and the brush is 24. So honestly, overall, those aren't horrible price points, especially not for the quality you're getting. Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't spend $22 on a brow gel or what was this one? 25, 25 on a highlighter. I probably wouldn't even pay 38 for a loose setting powder if I was just buying it on my own. I also don't have a habit of buying luxury brands for my base makeup, maybe for some eyeshadows, but even my eyeshadows, most of them are not luxury brands. So, um, or higher end brands. So really overall, that's not horrible. I mean, as, like I said, as things go, not a horrible price point. Let's do a t tally here though. We've got... We've got these two is twenty five forty forty five. I'm sorry, the little tiny meows behind me are killing me. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear them. I think they're trying to figure out how to get to me. Did somebody make it over the barrier? No, I've got a barrier built right here so that they only get onto the office half of this room and not to the horrible mess that is the craft and makeup side of this room. And I think they're trying to figure out how to get past it because I'm on this side and I haven't done that to them yet. I thought I heard a kitten next to me. Like I thought they made it through somehow. They definitely want through. I hear them. Okay. Sorry. Adding up 50, 60, 80, 104, 129, 189. No, that can't be right. It's less. Did I do that right? 38 and 22 is 60. Well, and then the 60 is 120, 140, 164. Yeah. 189. Oddly enough, the Anastasia box is actually a lower price value by what is that? $9. Hmm. No, sorry. Almost $20 by almost $20, but usable value. This box is way better. I will use this translucent powder. Uh, I don't know if, how quickly I'll get to the highlighter because I've got quite a few, but in theory, yes, I would use this highlighter. I would definitely use both of these. Uh, the brow gel, is almost too light. I mean, when I put it on this side, you can, it barely helps make my eyebrow more visible, but it is a practical blonde color. And even on this side where I put it over the top of that darker Brown that works, it totally worked, which might actually make that pencil usable now, which would mean I got what? 20 something dollars worth of use out of the other one. Oh, 16, sorry. $16 of use out of the other box. If I use that pencil with this brow gel, and this lip is actually, it's really nice. It dries down quick and it's a good neutral color. I mean, I've got a lot of, I can hear the kittens. Sorry. Um, I have a lot of things like this, but I would, I would use everything that came in this box. I don't typically use Kabuki brushes, but I could use it. Um, if I was using, you know, like there's, there's reasons I would use a Kabuki brush. It isn't my go-to, but it's something I would use sometimes. So there's literally nothing in this premium box that I wouldn't use at some point. The palette has a good range of colors. 
you could do a, a lot of different looks with this palette. I may give it to my daughter only because I have so many palettes and she does not have a ton, but I could easily keep this and not be mad about it. Uh, so even though in theory, it's almost $20 less value to me, it's way more usable than the other one because I'm going to have to find some way to, I'm going to have to give away or something half of the stuff in here more than half probably. I mean, I don't know. I might eventually use the highlighter. Um, I think it's kind of gimmicky, but it's not, you know, I probably could use it. In fact, they're almost the same color, which I find hysterical. Um, that both highlighters are almost the same color. I probably would never use this hair serum only because I have super healthy hair. And if I put some kind of an oil in it, it would then become oily and I don't want oily hair. So neither does my daughter. She actually already has oily hair. So I really don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Um, I'll have to find somebody that's got dry hair, I guess, and needs a hair serum. Uh, maybe I'll see if Liz, are you watching? Do you want it? Do you, do you use hair serums at all? Cause I would totally give it to you girl. Um, the eye mask, like I said, I don't really use eye mask. I may eventually use this eye cream, but it's not a big thing for me. I was going to say there's no way I can use this pencil, but now that I have that brow gel that kind of mutes it out, I actually might use the pencil. And then there was the, um, the complexion trio. I really just don't, don't do contouring. So I'm not sure how useful this is going to be for me. And so I may end up giving that away as well. In fact, if I don't have any friends that could use the eye cream and the serum and whatever, maybe I'll give it to a women's shelter. I don't know. Um, I feel like that might be a practical way to deal with some of this stuff because some of it's just like, I might even, I might even throw the brush into that box just because, um, I don't need a kabuki brush. I mean, my brushes are almost as ridiculous as my palettes. I have so many of them. And it's not a type of brush I tend to use. Um, I'll, they'll get added to the drawer of, of maybe usables. Oh, maybe that's what I can do about, with that too. I don't know. Anyways, good boxes. I mean, just in general, they are good boxes this month. I mean, yeah, this was kind of a miss. The, the regular box was kind of a miss for me personally. But in general, it was a good box. You know, you got a hair oil. You got you know, a, a contour palette and some eye cream and you got a, uh, you got a, a, a shimmery, you know, those are not horrible things. I mean, in, like I said, in general, this was a good box. It really was. It just wasn't a good box for me necessarily. So for me this month, it's definitely the premium box that gets the win. Um, what are you guys thoughts? Anybody have any of this stuff? Have any guys used any of these things? Um, uh, I guess I could do a try on. I could use, do no, no makeup whatsoever right now. Um, we're going to be lazy and use our shape tape over here for our eye primer. Cause that's how I feel right now is shape tape is fine. I mean, I use concealer most of the time. Anyways, I'm just thinking this is easy because it's got its little thing right here and I don't even have to get out another beauty blender. Has it the little beauty blender bullet as I like to call it on the end of it here. I'd say I could try out the Kabuki brush, except it's not even practical for, it's not an eyeshadow brush. It's not going to be helpful. Besides, I really do think I'm going to give that away. All right. We're all set. Literally. Um, let's see. Is there, <laughs> Jesus. It's a little bulky to try to get open. That's my only beef with this palette. It's so huge. Yeah, this B5 up here, I hope is an okay base color. Yeah, for right underneath the brow bone. Yeah, that's not bad. Kind of orange, I guess, but it's not horrible. So on the orangeer side of a base color, I mean of a a neutral, but it's not it's not bad. All right, I usually go for something big, fluffy like that. Grab something littler though. Let's see. I'm wearing black and gray. I could literally do any color. Oh hey, just realized one of the greens is shimmery, and I didn't think it was. Um.
We're going to go into C4 and see how that looks. What kind of color do we get out of that? Oh, that's kind of a, it's a deep burgundy like color. It's kind of pretty. Boy, watch how you put that on. It could look like a bruise. I really expected this to be more of a brown color. It looks kind of brown in the pan, but that is clearly not brown. I wonder if E2, because see, look, this is C4 right here. I thought that was going to be brown. I wonder if this one down here, this E2, I just realized that they're A all the way across the top, one through five, B, C, D, E. Wow. All right. Let's see if E2 is a darker version of that or if it's more brown. I feel like it might be just a darker version. Which isn't bad for deepening the outside corners. Yeah, that's still giving me that very red color. It really does not look red in the pan at all. It's a good thing I don't mind wearing reds because that is what we got. We got like a burgundy-ish red. Um, totally wasn't what I was going for. I mean, it's what we got. It's what, it is what we ended up with. Do this very well. That is absolutely not the color I expected. Not at all. That's what we get. All right. Um. God, I was thinking of C two, but now I'm afraid that's not going to be red either. It, it's not actually. It's kind of burnt orange. Well, that wasn't what I was looking for either. Shoot, what am I going to use? What color does this come out? Now I'm swatching on my hand. I'm afraid to get a weird color. Nothing is truly, truly red in here. Hmm. Guess we're going to go. Oh, what color is B for? Hmm. Oh my God. B4, which is like a, a purpley color, because that'll go with that. I almost wish I'd done that earlier. It almost looks monochrome at this point, at least in here it does. That is really not what I expected out of those colors. I didn't expect to end up with like a purple burgundy. I expected way different. I expected browns and reds. I just went back into that E2 down to the bottom. Makes me wonder what the other volumes look like. Oh, and I forgot to mention there was a coupon at the bottom of the premium one. Buy one, get one 50% off at Anastasia.com. Maybe. <laughs> I should go see what the other two palettes look like. Because this is volume three. I wonder what volumes one and two look like now. I keep hearing kitten movement behind me, and I don't know if they're getting closer to actually breaching, <laughs> breaching the barrier or if they're just making noise trying. I still don't see anybody. I don't think they've made it through. I now have colors all over on my fingers. The whole back of my hand is all swatched up. I need to remove some crazy. Oh, I forgot about that one. I'm trying to figure out what color I want to put over the top of at least the lid. I should have left that swatch there. I had a swatch of what I did put on my lid. I should have left it there and put the shimmers over the top to see how it would look. But it's too late now. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for E3. Um, and as soon as I make sure my fingers dry, 
I'm just going to use my finger. Oh, look at the difference there. It's just a subtle little something. But look how much difference that makes in the brightness of that lid. I like it. I thought about the gold one that was right above it, and then I was like, oh, wait, this one should be good. Should enhance that purple color. And boy, did it ever. Woo, look at that. All right. I like it. I do. And I now have a very purple finger, so we're going to fix that problem. And I'm just going to grab this brush again. Woof. The fluffier brush and that B5 again that we already had on there just to kind of diffuse this upper edge so it's not so harsh. Which is actually why I do that in the first place. I put that little bit of a, um, why I put that little bit of a more neutral rind underneath my eye brow just so that if I need to go blend it, if there's something there to blend it to. Um, there's a color to start off. This, oh, I did that wrong. I didn't get it quite. It's like I, I went too far with it. Just right here. I need to get that back a little. And right here a little. Okay, there we go. I think we're good on that. I just want to make sure I don't have anything on the rest of my face. So there's no problem doing this. If I did have, um, if I had primer or concealer or, um, anything like that on my face already, I would use whatever product was already on my face on a Q-tip or something to do that little cleanup I just did. But since I don't, doesn't matter. All right. Go ahead and grab this. That red spot, wherever that is, and that, wherever that is. I had a little. Yeah, right there. Okay. I totally hear those kittens behind me. They are seriously adorable. They're so tiny. One of them literally fits in the palm of my hand. He is so little. It would fit in a teacup if I could get him to hold still enough for it. He does not hold still, though. He's a wiggly little dude. We think he's only like four weeks old. He's, uh, when my nephew first found him, it was... Uh, they had to use milk for him. Milk mis mixed with soft cat food just to make sure it wasn't too strong for him or because the poor thing was so so tiny that is so so gross I need a straight pen the nozzle of my foundation is clogged up is all so I just need a pen to clean it out because when you don't wear makeup but once or twice a month because you don't leave the house hardly ever. And even when you do half the time, you don't do your makeup. It gets a little gross. And even with that, the last time I did my makeup, I knew I was going to be outdoor in the heat. And I would sweat off half of the foundation. So I just didn't put any on. I did my eyes and lotion. And that was it. And I totally just bent that pin. All right. There we go. You know what? I actually are going to use a brush because... We're not going to talk about just how disgusting our uh, beauty blenders are right now. So we are going to use a brush right now. I don't always use a brush. I kind of go back and forth between the beauty blenders and the brush. I don't really have a preference. It's what's clean and convenient at the moment. And yeah, I don't... I swoop, I don't pounce. Except for maybe after I've gotten most of it in, I'll just kind of pounce to make sure it's even and really in there good. I'm going to have to fix the eyebrows though. I just kind of 
half ass that and they don't match each other. Alright. Oh, I forgot there's already lipstick on my lips. Oh well, it'll be fine. Okay, did I get a bl well, I got that one contour palette, but I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it, so I don't want to use it. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and use this though. Where's the sticker? Couldn't find the edge of the sticker. The sticker off of the powder. That did not give me a whole lot of powder. Usually, if you tip it over, shake it once or twice, I always tap on the lid just to make sure it's back down in there, you get a decent amount. I got more that time. First time I did not get a whole lot. Maybe it's just because it's new and it's super uh, full. I am using a brush, but I'm also tapping off a lot of the excess. Damn, I look pale. I mean, I am pale. I know I'm pale. That's not the problem. It's just I look extra pale for some reason right now. We'll try to lessen that. Okay, so the only bronzer we got, I'm not keeping. So I'm going to grab the Ciate London one that I got a couple months ago, I think. Good color for my paleness. Because right now we really need some color back in these cheeks. Because I look kind of ghostly. I could maybe even use it a few other places than just my cheeks. I guess I do contour under here a little bit. Not to the extent that most people do. I am right now I'm trying to get some color back in my face. I don't know why I'm so pale. And you know what? I think part of it's the camera. I just looked at the mirror that's back behind the, the camera and I don't look half as bad as I do on camera. So I'm going to feel better about that now. I need a blush. Mm. The first one I can grab is pretty vulgar. Um, resting bitch face, but this actually also came out of a boxy charm just a little bit ago, uh, a little farther back. I'm going to grab some hush blush. <laughs> Definitely got some rosy back in those cheeks. <sighs> actually come to think of it, the, uh, uh, shape tape came in a box recently too. Well, couple months ago, but still it came in one of these boxes. It wasn't one I purchased because although I don't mind shape tape, not a big fan of its price point. <laughs> I know it's bad. I'm just, I'm cheap. Okay. Sometimes I'm just cheap. That's all there is to it. I don't like spending $20 on something I could get for 10. That's literally fine. I mean, yes, I know not all things are created equally, but it also is not necessary. <sighs> looking for. There it is. No, that wasn't the one I was looking for. Dang it. I can't find the right eyeliner. Um, the eyeliner I'm looking for. Serious. That is the same one I just grabbed out of there. Well, if this one's working, I guess I'll use it. Um, I know not everything is created equally. Um, obviously, but when it comes to something like, uh, foundation and concealer. There are definitely mid brand and even some drugstore brands that are not horrible and a lot cheaper. And honestly, I don't have the money to spend on ridiculous prices for face makeup, especially since I don't wear it a lot and it is possible it could expire before it gets used. Go. 
Uh, like I use a NYX foundation, which it is technically drugstore because you can buy it at Target and Walmart and a lot of drugstores, but you can also buy it at Ulta. But it's on the nicer end of drugstore, in my opinion. It's, you know, obviously it's not a luxury brand. It's not expensive, but I do like the way it works for my skin. Um, I do like some of these, some of the um, concealers that I've gotten in boxes. But honestly, I get them in boxes often enough. I almost never have to buy concealer. Um, same thing with powders. I still have, is it a Fenty? Yeah, I have a Fenty powder over here I haven't fully used since I got it. And I've had it for a while. And now I have an Anastasia to go with it. So, you know, my powders are expensive, but it's because I've gotten them in these subscription boxes and I just don't use them that fast. I do have a small HD finishing powder from NYX, which is what I used before I started doing subscription boxes, or at least before I went to Boxy where I got full sizes versus the Ipsy original bag that has nothing but trial sizes. Um, so yeah, and in fact, this Luna liner came out of some box at some point and I'm surprised it hasn't died on me yet. It's probably getting pretty close. Um, I kind of feel the same way about mascaras. I have a lot of mascaras. Most of these have come out of subscription boxes, except for the purple and the blue and the brown um, and the white. Those ones I actually did purchase. And I got the Thrive Cosmetics in a box once, and I have bought one outside of that because even though that one is a more expensive one, I do like the Liquid Lash Extensions. Um, they really make your lashes look good <laughs> without having to put on falsies. Um, it almost looks like you have them on. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, uh, which did come out of a box. I don't know how long ago, months probably. Um, and it's not bad. It's not my favorite, it's not my go-to even. I just don't wanna waste liquid lash extensions on a look that I'm gonna have on for a couple hours and not leave the house with. If I'm actually going out doing something and I don't want to wear false lashes, it's the, the, the liquid lash extensions by Thrive. Absolutely. But that is some expensive, really nice, damn near bulletproof mascara. Like it is hard to get that off. My kittens have calmed down. I don't know if they've calmed down or if they've just left my room, but I don't hear them anymore. Okay, there we go. That works for that. Now, let's play with your brows a little better. Try and get it back in there that pencil go. I forgot I put it back into the box because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or give it to Rissa. Okay, let's try to actually do this a little better. I don't know how well this is going to work because there's already the other stuff on it, but I guess I did kind of do that, didn't I? You know, putting it over the gel isn't horrible either. They are a little dark for me. But at this point, they, I, they almost have to be because I need it to not look funny and have my two eyebrows distant, distant cousins. Yeesh. Oof, I don't like it. I truly don't. It, this one wasn't bad when I had some on already before putting on the gel, but... It's definitely too dark for my eyebrows. That is 100% true. It is too dark and I just got it too high. Ugh. So I don't like doing eyebrows unless it's a more natural color. Because now they look all funky. Got it too high up there. All right, where'd that gel go? I am going to use the brow gel over the top of it, even though there's already brow gel on because I feel like it's too dark without something kind of diffusing it a little. 
kind of want a better idea of how it would look. Mm, it's definitely too dark, but I don't think there was any hope for my brows in general at this point because I had already messed with them a few times with different stuff. So I honestly think there was no hope for my eyebrows actually looking decent right now, but they're not horrible. So whatever, I guess I could, I'll get over it. <coughs> I don't know where that's going to fit. I can't put it into the eyebrow. The lash and brow jar is full, 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 very full. I can't even get that. That skinny little brush won't even fit in there right now. It's so full. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Um, I guess I could touch up the lips a little because I kind of got foundation on those. Although I'm not sure this is the best lip color for this look. It'll work. Especially since we're mostly doing a try on of what was in the box. I am curious how that works. Some of the, sometimes the ones that dry down don't layer well. So that'll be interesting to see how that works. Sometimes it makes it kind of come back up if you put it over the top of another one. I'm trying to figure out where to put it in the, there it goes. I'm trying to find room in the lipsticks. All right, now I guess we'll go for the highlighter. If we can get the sticker off. Getting a hold of the sticker is half the battle, I swear. Wow, that really, really, like it lifted part of the little tray thingy that's supposed to help you keep that separated. Again, I didn't get hardly anything. Oh, you know what? I had a thought. Oof, goodness. Goodness. This is kind of a mess. Where is one of my little or? Oh, I love that. Yeah, look at these. One of these guys. I'm going to grab just that purple, the B4, and get me a little under the lash action going. Oh, yeah, I like that better. It's feeling like my under eyes were missing something. Other than mascara, I just realized I forgot to put mascara under here. Oh, well. Kind of on my waterline on that side of here when that happens. And I'm just kind of buffing it out with my finger a little. Just to make it not so sharp. And then, I'm going to grab maybe that one, C1, just stick it in the corner here. Ooh, I do like. Brighten up that inside corner tad. The tear duct. Oof, got it a little high right here. It's amazing how brightening that little bit of lightness in the tear duct just opens up your eyes. It just, it does something. It's just great. All right. Now I need a Highlighty brush. I guess you could do, use the little kabuki for that, couldn't you? Depending on how you like to put on your highlights. Tap that on here. I almost feel like I could have stuck the highlighter in the corners of my eye. It's not really, I mean, it highlights. There's definitely a little shine there. It's not a super bold and sparkly type, though. That's kind of nice. 
wasn't sure how it was going to be. I just your kittens again. Not a bad highlighter. It's not, again, it's not super bling, but it's not, it's not bad. I don't, I don't mind it. So there we go. That is, oh, I can't put that away. I just dropped that brush. Hopefully not into no man's land. I hope I can retrieve that from wherever it fell. Oh, balls. I really don't know where that just went. All right. There we go. So again, um, even though the base box had a slightly higher dollar value, the premium definitely has a better usable value for me. Um, I actually really like this palette. It's a nice palette. Things blended well. Um, some of the colors were a little surprising. They weren't the color I thought they were going to be based on the pan. So I, I'm definitely going to swatch anything else before using it because I did not intend on making a reddish purple look, but I do like how it turned out. Uh, what do you guys think about the box this month? Uh, do you actually like the base box that had uh, a little bit of skincare and hair care in it? Or do you really like the Anastasia box? Which, I mean, really, I do. And I definitely think it's worth the $38 and change that it is. Uh, base box is $28 and change. Premium is $38 and change. Monetarily, both of them were a great value this month. It's just the usable value for me was definitely the premium box. I will see you guys next time. Bye.